for it. So let us not be scared to celebrate our own. Next year, Colin Sidibe, it must not end before we occupy the border of Swaziland and demand the true freedom of the people of Swaziland. Comrades, in Swaziland, there is no democracy. People who go to parliament must be the darlings of the king. Anyone who must be anything strategic in that country, the king must agree. If you want to be a speaker of parliament and you are not a favorite of the king, the parliament will not sit to elect you a speaker because the king must sanction parliament to sit in order to elect the speaker. One man with many wives behaves like he's God in Swaziland. Yeah. We don't have freedom ourselves if the people of Swaziland do not have freedom. We must go and fight for the freedom of our people in Swaziland. When they march, demanding better salaries, they are beaten up. Please go and check the history of Mario Masuku. This old man went in and out of prison in Swaziland. Mario Masuku is a Mandela of Swaziland. And they harassed him. Even old as he is now, he's still a threat to that kingdom there. Because even when they imprisoned him, when they release him, the same day he goes and joins the protest, they go and arrest him afresh. He has never betrayed the struggles of the suffering people of Swaziland. And the least we can do